Sailor's Sailor's Jazz, it's your girl Sailor P, back with another Steven Universe Review Diamond Days, Escapism. Now, a lot of people have been talking about this episode, I myself wasn't really that excited for it, but hey, we all got different tastes. So let's get started. Here we have Stevani trying to break out of that tower that yellow had put them in but uh it doesn't seem to work i mean that tower is like impetrable like nothing <laughs> nothing seems to work so steven cooney thought it was all hopeless mainly steven because you know to be honest it was his fault okay don't y'all blame connie y'all need to get off my girl connie okay it was steven's fault because he's acting like a little bitch <laughs> at that ball. But, as always, Steven redeems himself by astral projecting to find Earth. And uh, once he finds it, he finds himself in a very, very strange predicament. Something that I didn't really thought about either, but it was a nice surprise. He had gotten to his watermelon self. <laughs> Surprise! Like nobody, nobody really saw that coming. I didn't see that coming. It's been a long time since we've seen the watermelon people anyway. You know what I mean? And once he gets there, there's another surprise for him as well because the watermelon people have been quite busy over the past few months because there's a peaceful tribe where everything is just really peaceful no fighting and they do the stance that white has been doing since we first saw her and then there's like a violent tribe like <laughs> that they geared up to just throw down whenever and so Steven wasn't about that he just wanted to get to uh, Bismuth and his dad so that they could come and rescue the other gems. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> that didn't go as planned at first. But once the Waterman people saw that Steven wasn't about that fighting, the both, both of the tribes decided to uh, help out Steven with his wrath to get to the island where Bismuth and his dad were. But that didn't go so well either because Stevie was attacked by a watermelon shark. Who knew? <laughs> Again, a surprise. Whoa. First, Stevie decided to deal with it by, you know, by violence. You know what I mean? Or try to protect himself from the shark. But then. Here's another surprise. Steven decides to do it peacefully. You know, sort of like what the two tribes were doing. See, that when one way doesn't work, uh, try another way. Okay? That's all there is to it. <laughs> but then here, poor Steven is floating in the ocean, just tied with his wallet and himself. I mean, he was completely worn out after swimming. And then somehow lion found him i guess by being connected to rose i guess he was able to find steven and then now we're at the island where business and greg are but uh they can't really understand what steven is talking about because steven had to explain it <laughs> twice to them in order to to understand what was going on but then Greg finally picks up a stick and tells Steven to write in the sand so that <laughs> they can understand and so that's where we get help we need backup <laughs> because Steven fucked up okay it was Steven's fault the whole time I'm not finna I'm not finna justify Connie being the one at fault <laughs> okay so after they got it or whatever, then Steven went back to Connie. And then that leads to the 
the conclusion, I guess. But I think many people were like hype about this episode because they were more hyped about the song because I mean many people thought that they were you know going to do a character with that song but I'm glad they didn't it was a nice surprise you know what I mean that's why I'm like you know when people put out their theories and stuff like that that's why I always wait until the episode comes out but as always Sailor Scouts Sailor Peace says like and subscribe. Bye.